So today I'm going to show you how to use the USB um, stack, a USB flash drive to uh, import your games to uh, RetroPie. So the first thing we have to do is we will uh, hopefully you re you configured your controller and everything so um, I'm gonna go into there I'm gonna press this circle button right there and go to um, there's retro set retro pie setup press the circle button again or the button on the right okay now I'm gonna go if you haven't updated your um, Raspberry Pi with RetroPie in it, go here and press the circle button and uh, update it. I already updated mine, so I don't have to do it. So go to see your configuration tools and go to um, USB service 841. Okay, continue. So it's number one, enable USB ROM service scripts. Okay, so it's enabled. Enabled USB ROM service. Okay, and then press right on your D-pad and cancel. Then go to back and then press right and go to exit. And now you have to restart, um, press start and restart. Actually, I'm going to shut down the system. I'm going to go to my Windows based computer and I'm going to create a fat. 32 USB drive. Okay, so I'm going to do that right now. Okay, now I'm back to my uh, computer. So I have a 64 gigabyte USB flash drive right here. This one right here. And you have to format it into FAT32 in order for it to work on the Raspberry Pi 4 with RetroPie. And I'm going to go to format, and I'm not giving given the options to format it to FAT32. I'm only given NTFS and XFAT. So if you have a flash drive which is uh, 32 gigabytes or less, then you will be given the option to format it to FAT32. But anything larger than 32 gigabytes, you're not going to be able to. So it won't work unless you format it to FAT32 but I already did for this drive but I'm going to show you how to do it so um, what you have to do is you need to go to um, Google And there's a website that I went to which showed you how to do that. So, how to format USB drives larger than 32 gigabytes with FAT32 on Windows. Okay, that, that was the problem I was having. So, it leads you to this website right here. You go here and you download this. The software is perfectly safe. Safe to use and this is where it's downloaded so you just run it and make sure you select the right flash drive and not your hard drive or anything so on my desktop um, this is my flash USB flash drive so it's J drive so it's J here, 64 gigabytes. I already formatted to FAT32. 
so you would go here and select the part the partition that you want the amount the volume so it'll be 65 and then quick format and start I'm not going to do it again because I already did it and then it would complete the process and then you're finished and then close it and you go here and then you just create a um, folder called RetroPie-Mount and that's all you do and you plug this into your uh, Raspberry Pi 4 and, and this is a USB 3.0 64 gigabyte stick so it shouldn't take me very long for it to complete the transfer of files so next thing after you finish just go here eject and then insert it into your Raspberry Pi 4 with RetroPie and that's it okay I finished um, creating that uh, 64 gigabyte USB uh, flash drive with uh, FAT32 so now I'm gonna I inserted that into my Raspberry Pi and I'm gonna start my uh, Raspberry Pi up again with uh, my uh, USB 3.0 64 gigabyte flash drive in my uh, Raspberry Pi It's booting up and just by sticking it in the USB drive everything should go right into the USB drive so I have seven Nintendo games in this Raspberry Pi 4 with RetroPie. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these four, these uh, seven games will be going into my uh, USB flash drive automatically, and it should be done by now. It's not a lot of um, it's not a lot of games. So now, what I'm going to going to do now is I'm going to uh, press start and quit. So I'm going to shut down the system again, go back to my Windows based computer and um, I'm going to put some games in there. I'm going to check the file system and I'm going to insert more games in there. So now I'm going to insert the USB flash disk Okay, and I'm going to see what's in it, so everything that was on the Raspberry Pi with RetroPie was transferred, all the files were transferred to uh, this USB drive. I only had uh, NES ROMs in here, and these are the ROMs that I had, so I'm going to put more ROMs in there. I'm going to put these in there. I'm going to go into the Super Nintendo also and put more ROMs in there as well, because it, because it was uh, it's it was obviously empty. So now I'm going to eject it and put it back in the Raspberry Pi. Okay, I um. I'm going to start my Raspberry Pi again. With the new games in it. The games in uh, from the, the NES games and the SNES games that I just added into this flash drive. should just go right in here after I start it up okay good we're going to wait gonna press the hot key to start it so it didn't take very long for the games to transfer here 
And these are the exact same games that I just added for the Super Nintendo and the regular Nintendo. Before there was only seven, now there's about Now there's one, two, three, four. about 12 games. Now I'm going to start play a game actually. I'm going to play my favorite game, UN Squadron. Whoops, sorry about that, I hit the camera. So if you have a lot of files, then it's going to take longer for the files to transfer basically. Since I didn't put that many files in there, it didn't take very long as you clearly saw. So this thing is kind of like a, a ROM cartridge or something. I mean the USB uh, stick. It's kind of like that. So you could insert this into any um, Raspberry Pi with RetroPie in it and uh, configure it the same way by enabling the USB service and you could uh, basically use this as kind of like a pseudo cartridge or something putting a lot of games in there you know so the flash drive that's in this Raspberry Pi 4 is a 64 gigabyte flash drive and uh, I mean a SD card I'm sorry and the USB flash drive that I used was basically a um, 64 gigabyte USB 3.0 um, flash drive. So that um, that is pretty good. You know, I could put a lot of games in it, and also I could use a small, a very small SD. Uh, micro SD card I could use let's see a 16 gigabyte micro SD card and those don't cost a lot of money you could probably buy one for five five dollars or something you know opposed to buying a micro SD card 64 gigabyte that's that would definitely cost more money That's the advantages of doing this. It's kind of like a cartridge thing, which is good. Okay, now I'm gonna end it. Um, to get out, um, I created a tutorial about this. It's a hot button and square to get out. And then X again, and then quit retro pie and that's it yeah all the games that I wanted transferred which is good run one more game So you really don't even need a network connection if you use this method to uh, transfer games, which is very good, in my opinion. And if you have a USB, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, if you have a network connection, you know, 
if you connected your Raspberry Pi 4 to a uh, to a <coughs> RG45 LAN cable, then you could just transfer your files by using the network. But so if you don't, you know, you don't have to. So that's a good thing about this thing. That's why I like it. It's pretty versatile. You know, I don't have to um, wear out my um, micro SD card. You know, I could just use the USB uh, card, USB uh, flash drive, which is more durable than the micro SD card, which is more, which is meant for like uh, media devices like cameras and stuff, digital cameras, digital video cameras and stuff like that. Okay, I think that's it. Let me get out of here. So hot button square X circle. Get out. Okay, that's it. So now I'm gonna turn this off. Start quit. So shut down system. Yes, that's it. Now it's done. Okay, thanks for watching. By Ace 1000KS1975 signing out.